Well, good morning, everyone. Um, boy, I uh, I don't know. I might have to switch to another platform or something or something. I don't know what I need to do, but uh, I just got to notice that my minutes are almost up this month for StreamYard, my free minutes, and I don't have a paid StreamYard or anything. So um, in order to do more videos, I'm going to have to find someplace else uh, to finish out this month. But never fear, I'll figure out something. Anyway, um, today's shout out goes to uh, Rain Rain. That's R-A-I-N-E R-A-J-I-N. And, nope, didn't quite flip. And uh, she's got a channel, and I'll list it down below. She does all sorts of stuff, fun stuff on her channel. So you need to check it out. Here's to you, Rain. Shout out to Hawaii. On this cold... 43 degree day in West Virginia. All right. And and her channel will be listed in the description below if I didn't already say that. Okay. Now cut the deck. And I have another video. I just have to tape it. I got the... Uh, No, oh, I got everything all set up for it. I just have to tape it. And that's your card for the day. And it's upright. And that card is the devil's card. It's not as bad as what that seems. Let me tell you. Now, the meaning of this card it's nothing to worry about. Getting a devil card in your reading shows that you have feelings of entrapment, emptiness, and lack of fulfillment in your life. It may also mean that you are a slave to materialism and opulence, and no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to shake off the feeling of wanting to indulge in luxurious living. You might be aware that this kind of lifestyle is leading you down the rabbit hole, but you have a feeling of not having any form of control over your actions or urges. Addiction to substances or material pleasures can also be the reason for your feelings of powerlessness and entrapment. In situations such as these, you may feel as though you are a slave, unable to control your impulses or willpower to direct yourself towards something other than the satisfaction of these desires. Now, upright love meaning. Keywords are lust, hedonism, and selfish disregard for lovers' feelings and obsession. Okay, lust and temptation are symbolized by the devil in a love tarot card reading. There can be a sense of hedonism and a selfish desire for gratification with this card. In less serious circumstances, it can also just simply mean a pursuit for all of life's earthly pleasures. There is nothing wrong in having a bit of fun, but make sure that you are not hurting others or giving them wrong impressions when you do. If you're only looking for hookups, it is up to you to communicate that with your dates. Make sure you avoid pressuring others if they decide your lifestyle isn't something that suits them. Communication will be more important than ever now. Alternatively, the devil card, love meaning, can also signal addiction and in the context of love and relationships, codependency. Over time, this can be destructive to the individuality and self of both partners. Be wary and ensure that two of you remain strong individuals within your relationship. Okay, career meaning. You may feel stuck or trapped when it comes to your career right now. Like you don't have any option but to stay somewhere that you dislike. 
In this state, it may be easier to blame your circumstances, bad luck, or a host of external factors. You may feel dependent on this job without the power to make the changes that would bring you happiness. At times, this card can also signal self-sabotage and playing the victim when it comes to work relationships with your colleagues. Regardless of what it feels like, the devil's appearance can signal that you have more choices than you think you do. You only need to reclaim your power. This can be scary to take accountability for a situation that you dislike, but it also can be empowering. Finances. Difficult financial situations may be exaggerated with bad habits with the devil in the reading. This can signal that there is often more than you can do to bring yourself out of this state. But you may be either failing to see the solutions or you are unable to change the way that you handle your finances. You may be spending compulsively, gambling, or unable to take control of your material resources. Make sure you are doing all that you can. All right. And there we have it. The devil. And that wasn't so bad, was it? Not great, but not that bad. All right. So you all have a great, wonderful Thanksgiving. If you get the chance, check out the video I put out last night uh, about how to inject your turkey with wine and that was a very fun segment for me to do. I also made deviled eggs. Well, let's just say non-deviled deviled eggs. You'll have to see what that's about. Anyway, y'all have a great Thanksgiving. Blessed be, peace, believe, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.